Hi, my name is Paul Trixander, Senior Sales Engineer at RAS Software. Today I'm going to demo how you can enforce separation of duties in a Windows Server environment. What you see on the screen is the RAS Service Orchestration Console, where I have my separation of duties services. So I'm going to show you one of the services, and it's going to be this one, so the Networking Configuration Service. Subscribing to this service gives the user access to certain networking tools on a domain controller. People that qualify for this service are members of the IT department. I have restrictions on this service, so if I'm already subscribing to this service, accessing Active Directory users and computers, I cannot access this service. When I'm requesting the service, first of all, there's an approval process. So in this case, Bob Jansen needs to approve this service. If he approves the service, Service Orchestration will invoke a runbook where RES Automation Manager will add me as a user to the domain admin group so I can log on to the domain controller. When that's been done, RES Workspace Manager will make sure that I get access to the right applications on the domain controller and also get access to remote desktop connection program on my XP workstation. When I've done my duties on my domain controller, the service will be returned. There are several ways of returning the service. You could postpone the transaction for one day, so I, I'm actually subscribing to the service for one day and then it's automatically being returned. For the demo's sake, I'm going to return the service when I'm finished doing my duties on my domain controller. Then what will happen is RES Automation Manager will remove me as a user from the domain admins group and I will do a refresh on my session. A message will be sent to my manager telling that the service has been uh, returned. So let me show you how this will work. On my Windows XP desktop, I've got access to RES Orchestration Client. I will look at the available services. I will select the networking service. I'm going to request this service. Now we can see in the workflow, so there will be a transaction that started. So Bob Jansen needs to approve this transaction. So in Bob's orchestration client, he's got a message. His permission is needed to deliver the service domain controller administrator access networking config to Dave Young. So Bob, he's going to allow this. And the workflow will continue. A runbook has been invoked adding this user to the domain admin group. When that has been done, a message is going to be sent to Dave Young that he needs to refresh his user workspace to get access to the re remote desktop connection. So he's got a pending action your user workspace needs to be refreshed to deliver the service. Before I do a refresh on my se session, I will show you that in my start menu, in the system tools, I only got access to RES Automation Manager Console. There's no server tools in my start menu either. So I'm going to do a refresh of my workspace. Now you will see that I've got access to remote desktop connection to 
my domain controller. So I'm going to log on. RES Workspace Manager will configure my session and give access to the applications I need to perform my duties. So in my start menu, I've got server management tools, DHCP, DFS, and DNS. So this is what I can do on the domain controller. I do not have access to local drives. As you can see, I've only got access to my home drive, uh, an IT department folder, and some shared resources, but not access to the C drive on the domain controller. And there's no way for me to access the C drive. So when I perform my duties, I'm going to log off the domain controller and I'm going to cancel the service. I'm going to return this service. So it's asking me to, allowing me to uh, re return the service. So I'm going to allow that. If we look at the transaction, so there's a new transaction returning the service and now it's invoking a runbook where this user account will be removed from the, the, the main admin group. So it tells me I it, it wants me to refresh the workspace to remove the remote desktop connection application from my start menu. Just to show you if I don't do a refresh, you see that I still have my application. So let's try to log on to the domain controller. And that won't work because I'm not longer a member of the domain admin group. If I do refresh, the application will be removed from my start menu. So this was a short demo of how you can use RES Dynamic Desktop Studio to enforce separation of duties in a Windows Server environment. If you want to know more, please visit www.resoftware.com for more information. Thank you and goodbye.